Hi everyone. Today I thought I'd show you what we've done to our chicken run because with all the rain that we've had, it was actually starting to flood in here. Um, there was mud everywhere. The chickens' feet are all muddy. They take it into the house. The eggs get all muddy. Um, and they just generally were like a bit down because it was such a mess in here. So I'll show you what we've done and um, it has rained a lot since we've done it and it does appear to be working so i will show you so as you can see we've got all new fresh bedding down here but what we actually had to do our house and run is already on concrete so <laughs> excuse me so what we actually did was are you can help me we actually bought some more slabs. I think there was 24, which we put over what was already down, which raised the run so that when it rains now, the rain will just go under the old slabs that were here. And then, <laughs> and then we've literally just put a load of new bedding over the top. We didn't bed the slabs down or anything. They just, they all fitted in. This is a six by nine run. And they all just fitted in. Um, and then we've literally just say, put the bedding over the top, but we've put in deep bedding. So you've probably got at least four inches of bed in there. And so far, as you can see, it is staying dry. This because this place here was where it used to flood, and it's staying dry, as you can see. And also under the house was another place where it used to flood, and it's all straight, staying dry. And the chickens' feet, hopefully you can see, are all nice and clean. And we had an old curb. Uh, slab there so we've put that across the door so that it doesn't go out the door every time we go in and out and the ladder up into the house is staying clean and I did have to wash all of this out because it was so so muddy so the house is really really clean this is all oh sorry <laughs> This is all staying clean now. So I have a little extra bed in there. One of them does use it because we've got five chickens. So. so I would definitely recommend the deep bedding. Obviously you just measure the size of the run, go and buy how many slabs you need, and then just get the bed in and it's, it's just totally worked for us, so yeah, so have a go. Um, I will just quickly show you the bedding that we've used. So this is the bark chipping that we've used. Um, as you can see, we got this from Wix. Um, and the reason we chose this one is because it is suitable for play areas for children. So that means that there's no chemicals in it. Um, and as you saw from the run, um, it is a really nice one and the chickens are quite happy on it. So we bought four of these. At the moment, it's £10 a bag um, for 100 litres. Um, but we did already have some, some other chippings left. So we put what we had left, we put on the bottom and then we used three of these. So we've still got a spare one there. So just as a matter of interest, you might like to know, um, I keep my chicken pellets in this big dustbin. It was a spare one that we had we didn't use. So I've not long bought some more, so that one's full up. So I just use this to fill up a, a dish, which I'll take out to the chickens. There's some poultry spice there, which is like vitamins, which I just put in now and again. Um, and that was just the treats and treats that they had. I just keep those in the top. And then again, another old bin that we had I keep the chicken corn in there and I've just got another cup in there and then because they are in a run I keep chicken grit that's another old bin 
um, because they do need grit obviously for their eggs so um, and especially at the moment because they can't be let out at the moment um, and this uh, is a recent buy it's Denji bedding which I bought from um, the British Hen Welfare Trust and uh, I find it extremely good and it smells it's got pine oil in it so um, it smells very nice too um, that's it there you can see because I was just using ordinary hay but this actually is much better it's um, it's shorter lengths and um, yeah I prefer this it's it's uh, wasn't too bad actually I can't remember how much that was so I'll just look it up on their website that's what I use Hello. Hello. <laughs> say Happy New Year. <laughs> By the way, just to say, we've actually got plastic all around here at the moment, partly because of all the rain we've had, but partly because we have got avian flu up and down the country. So this top one my partner made, and that stays on all the time. But... That was another reason if it is raining really heavy and especially if it's windy it just blows the rain in so we've put plastic all around but it's also because of the avian flu that's going around so it's only old plastic that we had we didn't buy it it was just a roll of plastic So for this run, it cost us, I think it was just over £100 to do this. But in the long run, it's well worth it because I don't have to keep cleaning it out. And the other thing about this deep bedding is really, you should only have to clean it out once a year because it works like a compost where it will just break down. So they definitely seem a lot happier anyway, and a little less work for me. So I do hope that that has helped you if you are struggling with uh, a muddy run. Um, if there's anything you'd like to know, just um, ask away in the comments or contact me and I'll be happy to help if I can. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a very happy new year.